have this sound. All right, let's pick this up and then let's get out of here. To speak? Greetings. I have just received word that Master Boo has returned from a long spirit journey and is currently resting his feet at Morning Breeze Village outside of the Temple of Five Dawns. It's been quite a long time since anyone has seen or heard from him, but he's asking to speak to you. We will handle the situation here while you are absent, Grandmaster. All right, let's Maybe let's go. That sound. Ugh. So this is one thing I like about the monk. They're one of those classes. At the click of a button, boom, I can go straight back to my order hall. Just like that, I'm back at the Temple of the Five Dawns. I love that. I love classes that have uh, a quick way to get back. And if I were to use this again now, it, as you can see here, it says uh, you can return back to your near departure to your departure point. So if I just hit this again, it'll take, send me right back there. There's Terran Zoo and the Monkey King. And of course, yeah, this is, by the way, this is the same Pandaren monk that you guys saw me check out the launch of BFA with. And as you can see, I have been working a lot more on um, actually doing the class hall campaign. So what we are doing today is we're going to be doing the quest to get the class hall mount. Oh, oh, it's actually over there. Okay, so... I've seen this mount. I really want this mount. I really like it. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I can't fly here. This is one of those zones that you actually can't fly. So I'm going to have to go on foot. For some reason, I thought he was going to be down there. All right. Hold on. Just We're going to have to take a moment here to have to go through here and uh, get to the village. Oh, oh, I went the wrong way. Yeah. I got to go up there. Okay. Teleport. I love the meditation look. I am meditating. In case you're curious, I'm one of those who actually likes uh, Missa Pandaria. I like, I love the Wandering Isle starter zone. It's one of my favorite starter zones in the entire game. Though I did find out if you that when you go to that star zone, you know how you can use the heirloom chauffeur mount to get around? You can't do that as a Pandaren. Because the according to the game, it doesn't know if you're gonna be Alliance or Horde, so it doesn't know which chauffeur to give you. <laughs> so that's the only thing I don't like about the Pandaren Star Zones, you can't use your heirloom uh, mount to get around. Until you choose a side. Or or if you somehow manage to get to level twenty before then. So that's the only thing, but I, you know, I also loved Pandaria, just a beautiful continent and such. Um, and I've been playing more with the monk, and man, it is a fun class. Master Boo. Tell me of your travels. Thank you for coming, Grandmaster. Oh, hello. You must be the new Grandmaster. Master Boo, Master Boo squints at you and sniffs. You young ones, you young ones have no patience these days, always running off to fight your great battles. No time for stories, even good ones, eh? Why don't you put down your, put your fist down for a moment and allow an old man to tell you a tale? Maybe buy you an old man a drink while you are at it? Yes, of course. Listen to Master Bruce's story. Yes. Next tell me a story. Juen, the White Tiger. One of the August Celestials had a son named Ban Lu. Over the centuries, Ban Lu served as the personal mount of each Grand Master. It was a duty he was honored to fulfill. But Ban Lu has not been seen since the Legion's attack on the Peak of Serenity. It seems the loss of life affected him deeply. Perhaps if we return there, we may find clues to his whereabouts. Hmm. The son of Zuen. Now, for those of you who don't remember, yeah, Zuen the White Tiger. You know that spirit of a white tiger that we have uh, come across in Pandaria? You know, the one who's voiced by Tyrael? From Diablo? Yeah, that Zuen. Yeah. His son 
could be my my mount. I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for listening and for paying for this beverage. Put it on my tab. Uh, bartender. She didn't have a name. It's just Morning Breeze Villager. Of course, this is no mere story. Ban Lu served as the personal mount of each of the previous Grand Masters, accompanying them through their travels as a faithful and trusted companion. But he has not revealed himself since you have become Grand Master. This is... troubling. The last time he was seen as the, uh, was at the peak of Serenity, after the fall of, the Grand, of Grand Master Height. It is there that we must begin our search for him. Meet Boo at the peak of Serenity. There is no hurry. Okay. Now, is there a way I can quickly get back? Ooh, there is. Alright, so I'll go to Dalaran. And then I'll take the portal to the uh, Temple of the Four Winds. And then we can just fly over to the peak. I hope I said that right. I don't quite remember. Ah, the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. I had that completely wrong. My bad. <laughs> You know what? While I'm here, I may as well just upgrade my fly. Hello. Boom! Breaking the sound barrier. And now we can fly even faster. Ah, Pandaria. There's the uh, location of the uh, patch cinematic for Siege of Orgrimmar, where Garrosh and Terran Zoo fought, and he. Uh, Caused all that. That's where the entrance to the raid is, actually. So. Ah, Pandaria. It's good to be back. I enjoyed questing in this place. It's a beautiful continent. It's like, I remember the Dread... I actually was really enjoying my time questing in the Dread Waste. Uh, the Jade Forest, I was like, whew, this is a rough start. But then once we got to the Valley of the Four Winds, so I, I had the Four Winds part right, just not quite, not entirely right. Um, I didn't do all that much because I pretty much was there in the Dread Waste and then I took off to go do Warlords. So I don't think I really did that much questing in uh, the Steps. Never really did the Isle of Thunder at all. I've done the Throne of Thunder raid. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. I uh, wonder what that's going to be like when I try to record that for my series, but in fact, there's the vaults raid. Let me see where this quest is. Ah, over here, of course. The Peak of Serenity. Which, until you get to Legion, that's where the Zen Pilgrimage uh, can take you. Because, of course, this is the place where monks go to do some training. So I always thought that was kind of a cool little thing. I have a... Uh, another low-level monk and I was like oh so this is where it takes me before you get to Legion that's cool in fact, it says I could uh, speak to someone else here but yeah this is the pretty much the place where you go to for training if you're a monk here's the training grounds ah there he is Grandmaster over here welcome a senseless loss of life and for what he looks heavily at the portal and shakes his head. It seems a lifetime ago that Grandmaster Height was walking these grounds while Ban Lu has served every previous Grandmaster. He and Height were the greatest of friends. For many years, they traveled the land, connecting with its people and maintaining our fragile peace. I cannot imagine how deeply Ban Lu must have been affected by his passing. There must be some clues to his whereabouts around here. Look sharply. Follow the trail of Banlu. Jade, sir. Look for any sign hey, of the where Banlu Pandora might there you go. be. Aha. What have you found? Paw prints. Let me see. A trail of paw prints. 
Hmm, where might they lead? Hmm. Aha. Wait for me, please. These old bones aren't what they used to be. <laughs> You're going too fast, my goodness. I'm not as young as I used to be. Where did you go? Oh, wait <laughs> there. Thank you for showing patience to an old man. Could you slow down a moment? I do apologize for my languid pace. All right, sure. And <laughs> they just take off again. Ooh. Ah, wee! He's just sliding down the mountain. Look at this. Look at him. He just slid down. That was hilarious. We. Oh. I could fight that. Nah, not now. That's something I would do on my own time. Greetings, wanderer. These old bones just need a little rest. But we appear to be one step further on our journey. That... Grummy over there looks like he d could use some assistance. Why don't you talk to him while I get some rest? There is no oh, <laughs> an exciting journey, but wearying. Please allow me a moment to rest. Perhaps you could ask these Brummels whether they've seen Ban Lu. But I got a lucky do for you. You, please help. Stupid Hosen stole Smelly's lucky do. Now Smelly always unlucky. Just turn around and look. Pack is on fire. No, not going to put out, put fire out because then something else unlucky happened. Maybe something worse. You beat up Hosen, yes? Get back, lucky do. Smelly will help you any way he can. Mm. Collect uh, three parts of Smelly's lucky do. <laughs> you, 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 you help me, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, those guys always just made me laugh. Don't have a target. <laughs> uh, I am out of range. Take this, Hosen. My wrath flows free. It is too far away. Ooh, the Shaw of Anger. I need a target. I need to target something first. What are you laughing at? I need to target something first. Man, people can say what they want about the Pandarins and the Mons, but... Oh my goodness! Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh yes, resurrect right next to the boss. No, thank you. I will resurrect over here. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grumble. <laughs> you like you. <laughs> Would you kindly show me the way back to Kunlai? A minute is all I need. Wait, that came out all wrong. <laughs> Uh, okay, he's an elite, so you know what? I'm not gonna mess with him. It is too far away. Let's just take care on the uh, other regular hosen. I need a target. I do not have a target. I always enjoyed these simplistic problems of uh, the starter zone, the Wandering Isle for the Pandaren. <laughs> like, oh, the hosen have ruined my crops. I am out of rage. Believe it or not, I'm actually one of those who actually likes the Pandaren. As a people, as a culture. I do not have a target. I'm not one of those who's like, oh, they're not cool. No, I like the Pandaren. 
Yeah, believe it or not, there are actually people out there who do like Miss a Pandaria and the Pandaren. I don't know. <laughs> Smelly has a new idea. Leave his pack on fire. Nothing else bad happened while pack on fire. Pack on fire is Smelly's new lucky do. You keep old one. Oh, you looking for Big Tiger? Uh, Smelly saw Big Glowy Tiger. One went towards Monastery. Smelty was helpful. Shall we continue the search Many of our will, Grandmaster? Tell me of your travels. That was good of you to assist Smelly Mountain, uh, Mountaintop, Grandmaster, and we have learned more about the fate of Banlu. I won't bother you with escorting me to Shadowpan Monastery. I can manage on my own. Meet me there, and we'll continue our search. Shadowpan Monastery. All right, let's see. Over here. I do want to come back here at some point cause, and uh, up my rep with the Shadowpan. Because I realized that I could actually get some really cool-looking tiger mounts. I never really did that. But you got to get exalted with the Shadowpan. At some point, I definitely want to do that, especially on this character. I like having certain, it, like, the characters I play, depending on either what class or what race they're playing, to get a uh, high rep with certain um, factions. Hey, it's Shen Li. I got the entrance to this dungeon. That's the, uh... Oh, that's the Shadowpan Monastery dungeon. I think I remember doing that. It's been a long time, though. I, it's been a quite a long time since I've been... Uh, since I w quested through Pandaria and did the dungeons here. But I should. I, I need to come back here, as you see on my uh, mod here, that helps me keep track of certain achievements. I need to come back here and I need to do uh, the heroic version of the Pan Pandaria dungeons and such to get those achievements. Hello. I have just begun my meditation, Grandmaster, but we may have another lead. I've spoken with the Shadow Pan, and they are willing to give us information if we can assist them with a task of their own. Speak with Commander Shen Li. While you're assisting them, I shall continue to meditate. Next one is on right. me. What do you got for me, Shen Li? We are the sword in the shadows. Greetings, Grandmaster Kung Fu Nix. Don't judge my name. It's nice of you to visit us. We are mostly focused on cleaning up the last remnants of the Shah in the area. If you could assist us with this task, perhaps we can help you with yours. What do you say? I'm ready to clean up the Shah. Ooh. Hmm. Ah, remnants of the Shah then. Closer. Hey. Hey, hold on, hold on. Do I need to, uh... No, don't need to do anything. It's just. It is. Huh, okay. I need to be closer. Like, am I just like walking over them? Is that what I'm doing? Huh? Did I just. Four percent. Huh? I thought it was gonna need a certain object or do a certain action, but no, I guess not. I am out of range. Oh, hello. So, what I was going to say before I got killed by that elite uh, Hosen need to get closer. is that boy, say what you want about the uh, Pandarans or even the Monk class, I it's a fun class you. once you learn how to uh, really play it and take advantage of it. It can be a lot of fun. Away. Just look at this. Yeah, I know people like to make jokes about Kung Fu Panda and all that stuff. I'm out of range. But Leon, I'm one of those who gets kind of tired of hearing all that. I need to get closer. Like a lot of people would make jokes like that, just be, you know, just to as a way to say, I'm not gonna do that. That that seems stupid or not cool. When the reality is that it was actually a very fun class to play, when in terms of its fun gameplay, but also it can be very strong and effective. It's actually one of the more, excuse me for the pun here, balanced classes I think in the game in terms of versatility. The fact that it's one of those classes similar to the. Uh, paladin that can be able to fill any role. Damage, tank, or healer. 
the three different specs. Now, I will say, I don't play Brewmaster. I can't. I've tried it. I can't play Brewmaster. Uh, Windwalker's fun. And you know what? Mistweaver might be my favorite healing spec in the entire game. Of all the healing classes and healing specs, I have had a blast playing as the Mistweaver. I really have. And I've heard that when is it? this first launched, the monk class in Pandaria, Mistweaver was incredibly fun to play. Even more so, and it was really good. I wish I had gotten to play it back then. So how does the removal of the re of the remaining remnants go? I have cleaned up the shop. We serve so others do not have to. Thank you, Grandmaster. For your assistance, unfortunately, Banlu is no longer here. I saw him heading south, but that is all I know. Huh. Really? But he's right here. Ban Lu is not here anymore. Uh, he's right here. Hello. Oh, wait. Boo. Oh, I'm sorry. You said Ban Lu. You said Master Ban Lu. I thought you were referring to Master Boo over here. Silly me. The Shadow Pan appear grateful, Grandmaster. Shall we... Con... Shall we continue... What is that black residue on your foot? Grandmaster, I have an idea. We still do not know where Ban Lu has gone to, but I do know who might. To the southeast lives a Jinyu, water speaker Really, Perhaps he has seen Ban Lu, or can ask him to inquire with the river about where Ban Lu has been seen recently. All this travel has done a number on my old joints, Grandmaster. I shall rest here a bit longer, and then catch up with you later on. Alright. May the mist protect you. Let's see. Oh, it's all the way back down to the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Is it? Oh, it's over here. Wait, what? No, it's down over here. Okay. <laughs> You're probably like, why are you using that mount? I don't know. To me, this was like, of all the uh, mounts I had, this was like one of the closest things that to me matched a uh, what a Pandaren monk would ride. I don't have any of the, um, in case you're curious, let me, uh, as you can see, I don't have any of the uh, serpent mounts from Pandaria. I wouldn't mind having some of these. From the Shaw of Anger. The thing about that, is uh, if you go to raids and you go to Pandaria, you'll see the Shah of Anger is a world boss. And it's very... Uh, it, it, oh, what is going on down there? I was going to say, it's difficult to try to pull this off because the, the thing about world bosses is that it can be hard to actually try and figure out when they are going to spawn and where. I'm sure there's like like stuff on the uh, Wowhead website maybe where it could say this boss spawns at this time in this spot at this region on this server you know all that stuff. Th these are all the different world bosses that you can uh, find and take on. You can even fight Zuen. You can fight the four different uh, spirits that are like your friends: Yulon, uh, Chi Chi Zuen. But from what I understand, the Shaw of Anger is actually, uh, uh, in fact, there's like, ah, over here, see? According to my uh, mod here, it says the Shaw of Anger could spawn, like, right over there. And I've gone over there, and it's just like, okay, I see nothing. Because then I found out, oh, because he's a world boss, and you have to figure out when exactly he's going to spawn and where, and, you know. So so I would love to have a chance to, to be able to be a part of that you know, taking that on and have a chance to get that mount, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. All right, here we are. Ah, oh, even the quests from this zone are back up. I remember, I remember questing here. Hey. It's one of these guys. I remember them. Greetings. It is not every day that a Grand Master Monk comes to visit me. How can I be of service? I have not seen Ban Lu, but the waters will surely know where he is. 
There is a flower that grows in the lakes of the mountain slopes near the temple of the white tiger that only blooms in the heart of someone pure of heart. Bring me six of these moon lilies, and I shall use them to speak to the river. All right. Well, I have to go way up there. All right. See, I do love this mount, but to me, seeing this Pandaren monk ride this doesn't quite work for me. My Death Knight absolutely riding this would absolutely work and make sense. It would look great, but my Pandaren monk, it just kind of seems out of place. I really like getting mounts that match up well with the certain class and such. That's why I wanted to be able to pursue uh, several of these different uh, class-specific mounts so they can work really well. Because once we get Van Lu to be my mount, I'll probably use that exclusively for my monk. And any, any other possible future monks or Pandarans that I use. Let's see. Ah. Oh, great. These things are 110. Well, this is going to be fun. No, 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 come on. Uh, oh, that's okay. I am out of range. I'm just instantly taking them down. No big deal, then. Oh, I can roll in the river. Oh. Huh. You hear the music? I don't know about you, but for a moment there, the music kind of reminded me of, uh... Skyrim. Just for, just for a brief second, I thought the music sounded so much to the music of Skyrim. Of course, the music in Pandaria is just beautiful. But then again, using thing, I mean, just... It's its almost kind of an oxymoron to use the word beautiful to describe things in from Miss Pandaria because just so many things about it are. Just love all these different random... Oh, stat buffs here. Damage dealt increased. All stats increased. Have a target. The only thing that's that I haven't really been able to, to do is find some pretty good transmogs for my uh, fist weapons. I'll have to see if there are certain fist weapons I need to go get that I can try and go farm. Because I really don't have that many. Alright. Temple of the White Tiger. Well, that's where Zuen is. There is an armor set that you can get. Uh, I think it's from the Throne of Thunder. It's a plate set that um, I think paladins can get. It's a full-on White Tiger set. I want that set. <laughs> I would love to have that set from uh, any of my plate-wielding characters. Because it doesn't have to be just a paladin. You can put that on... Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure you can put that on a warrior. I don't know if you can put it on a death knight. You probably could, though. Because I, I can see the different plate sets available regardless of those three different classes you can play. But I would absolutely want that. Because a, a, an armor set reflective of, of a white tiger? Oh, yes. I want that. We'll have to see how that uh, goes at some point in terms of whether or not I try to put Throne of Thunder on farm at this point. Because that is a long raid to go through. But I'll go more into that when I do the video for my soloing raid series when we get to the Throne of Thunder. Alright. How goes the Moon Lily collection, Grandmaster? 
Thank you. Allow me to search for answers for you. Please walk with me to the shore. Ah, uh, the... Oh, wait. Maybe I should wait until he gets to the river before I talk to him about this. Man, you can see the remnants of the Shaw of Anger throughout the river. I shall commune with the water now. How interesting. Ah, the ripples I feel in the water are strong. The droplet does not fall far from our location. Banlu is quite close. He closes his eyes and releases the lilies into the water. They drift slowly to the east. He waits for you now. At the bottom of the waterfall to the east. Find Banlu at the bottom of the waterfall. And from this we'll get... Bad Lou, the Grandmaster's companion. This is it. Just want to make sure this is tracking. Here's my Onyxia mount. Still the rarest mount I have. As you can see, I am up to... Over a hundred attempts at farming Ashes of Alar. I really want that for my mage. Grandmaster, have you found Banlu? <gasps> Boo was Banlu the whole time. By the death of Grandmaster Hyde, I wandered Pandaria to reflect. But in the midst of that reflection, I saw something new. And interesting up here. You. You have shown patience with Master Boo. Honor with the Grummels. Duty with the Shadow Pan. And faith with the Jinyu. It is clear you embody the wisdom, integrity, and tenacity of a Grand Master. Only one test. Gosh, he looks awesome. Prove to me that you can fight like a grandmaster. All right. It's time to fight him. Out of range. Wait, get back here. Too far away. What? Hey! I am out of range. What? Get back here! Oh, come on, right as I... Your skills are impressive indeed, Grandmaster. I would be honored to serve you as I served the great leaders of our order who came before. Okay. All right, back to the Wandering Isle. Yeah. 
didn't seem like that hard of a fight. The only trouble he really gave me was those times when he would confuse me. I'm so confused. Right, so it looks like I gotta go... What's the best way to get there? Maybe this way, actually. Oh. Wait, hold on. Can I go that way? Yeah, I can. Nope. Can't jump down. There we go. Man, you know, there's two groups of people that I think always do an outstanding job throughout the time that the game has been out, whenever an expansion or such has come out. One of them is the art team, because, of course, every single place that we pretty much go to, you know, is just gorgeous. But the other group is the music people, the people who make the music of the game, the soundtracks. And Pandaria, to me, is no different. The soundtrack is just wonderful. There he is. It will be my honor to carry you on the ceremonial path from this shrine to the temple, as I have done for the Grand Masters before you. Son of Zuen is now my mount. Where are we going today, Grandmaster? Oh, by the way, that's another thing. As far as I know, this is the only mount that actually talks to you. The wise monk chooses their own style rather than letting popular opinion dictate it. <laughs> Let's make him a favorite. go he's not entirely a white tiger he's kind of a mix I like the uh, the headpiece he has here I like that he's got a uh, a barrel of brew on his back because of course why would he not have brew on him I mean for goodness sakes if you're playing a tank you're a brew master of course he would have that and I, I've heard that some people are like, sometimes can get a little tired of what he says or his constant talking, but considering that there's, as far as I know, there's really no other mount in the game that actually talks to you. I mean, I just think, I just really find this uh, amusing. So that is the class hall mount quest. Idleness oh. rarely leads to success, Grandmaster. <laughs> Come on, Ban Lu, I'm talking here. But uh, that is the quest for the Monk Class Hall Mount quest. And I said that sounded a little redundant. But anyway, I think it's actually one of the better quests for any of the Class Halls for the Mount. And it's, I think, one of the coolest looking mounts of all of them. Uh, this is one that I would definitely recommend uh, pursuing. If you are considering doing this for alternate classes or multiple classes, definitely recommend the monk. The I like the quest and I like the mount. So I'll be able to use this now with any other future monk characters that I make. So really happy about getting Ban Lu here, the son of Zuen. I think that's a really cool thing. I love how his eyes glow like that. That's awesome. 
And this, I think, is really one of the only tiger mounts that I actually have. So, hey, I finally have a tiger mount. So, I will see you guys next time.